Hi, I'm Alec Baldwin for PETA. Having worked with actors for many years, it's hard for me to believe that anyone would have to be dragged kicking and screaming into show business. But for the elephants with Ringling Brothers and other circuses, that's exactly what happens. In the wild, elephants walk for miles every day with their families. The bond between these animals is strong, and females spend their entire lives with their mothers. Elephants in the circus will never know this life. It's a sad story that begins when the elephants are babies. They are torn away from their mothers and forced to begin training for circus performances. These photos, taken by a ringling trainer, show the terrified baby elephants as they are stretched out, slammed to the ground, gouged with bull hooks, and shocked with electric prods. They scream, cry, and struggle while they are forced into the painful positions necessary for circus tricks. The term break actually means to break their spirit. Uh, you, can't, you can't control an elephant with a hook or a chain unless you first break their spirit. You chain them, you break them, you, you teach them that they depend on you for everything they need. The amount of suffering those elephants, and the tigers and the lions, but the amount of suffering those elephants go through in order to entertain anyone's five-year-old for 15 minutes is a crime. In 2009, Peter released the findings of a multi-state investigation of Ringling Brothers that included video footage of animal handlers, including a head animal trainer, that they beat elephants just moments before they walked on stage. For many years, Ringling handlers have been documented digging sharp metal-tipped bull hooks into the sensitive areas on elephants' bodies, under the chin, behind the ears and knees, and on the face. Training goes on in secret, away from the public and unmonitored by any government agency. This video footage was taken during a training session at Carson and Barnes Circus. The head trainer instructs other animal handlers to beat and shock elephants in order to keep them in constant fear of punishment. His brother is an elephant manager with Ringling. This is standard industry practice. Both foot and back. Boom! Right under that chin. Sit, and you better back up because his feet should be flying right behind. The hooks and the chains and all that are part of the accoutrement that actually reminds the elephant we have control of you. When not in the spotlight, elephants are kept chained and confined to cramped boxcars or arena basements. The lack of mental and physical stimulation results in severe frustration and is the reason why you frequently see elephants and circuses swaying neurotically back and forth. With these unnatural living conditions, many elephants have developed very painful arthritis and chronic foot problems, which are the leading reasons for euthanasia of captive elephants in the United States. The problems that I've seen documented with the elephants I've worked with these last uh, 40 years, it is absolutely inappropriate for the American people to allow Ringling to continue traveling these animals and putting them in the conditions they put them in. Circuses deny animals everything that is natural and important to them. Every basic instinct is met with punishment. As long as circuses continue to use elephants, these intelligent beings will continue to experience enormous suffering. Please never attend a circus that uses animals. Thank you.